Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today for tips on how to get that movie star glow. Yes, this is kind of a fun little video that contains the little extras to make us look our glowing, youthful, wonderful best. And in looking at movie stars, which is really fun to do, I love those People magazines where you really get to see how the stars look. They are just absolutely glorious. But it's interesting to see their transformation over time as they learn more beauty tips and techniques and work with better people, they tend to improve over time. I'll show you an example here of Sandra Bullock. The first picture, the before actually, is in 1994 in the movie Speed. And as you can see, she has a good look, but she doesn't really have that glow. And in the after picture, you can kind of see that she has more of that movie star glow going. And she looks wonderful even though it's 15 years later. So I got to thinking what are some of the little extra things that the movie stars do that we can use to make ourselves look a little more glowing and movie star like too. Well again, in looking at that picture of Sandra Bullock in her before and after. The after picture, as you can see, her hair looks absolutely glorious and probably it is not real. And I've realized over time that in looking at the gorgeous pictures of the movie star hair, they may be getting a little bit of help. And I have gotten some help today and I'm so excited about this. This is actually a mono wig topper from Name Brand Wigs and it is not a full wig. In fact, this is my hair under here and I have just gotten a little more help with the crown by this mono topper. And it's a lace topper so it's very, very easy to wear, very cool during the day. I wore it out to dinner the other night and no one was the wiser. This topper gives me fullness at the top of my hair which I really enjoy and if you're like me as you've been getting a little more grown up things have gotten a little more thin here at the temples especially a mono wig topper may be for you and if you're not a subscriber I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in learning more about this mono wig topper it's the Bell Tress topper from name brand wigs and I think it's absolutely beautiful again this is my own hair down here and this just gives me a lot more fullness at the crown you can see it in the back there, absolutely fabulous. And when you see the star's gorgeous hair, they may be wearing a mono wig topper. Now another thing that sets the movie stars apart from us may be their movie star teeth. And my teeth have gotten a lot of help recently from the Smile Brilliant Tooth Whitening Kit. And I will post the link to the video I did below, but here's a look at my before and my after pictures. And as you can see in the before pictures, my teeth were kind of dingy and yellow. And in the after pictures, my teeth almost became as white as this white carrying case. So to learn more about how you can make your teeth look whiter and more glowing, please see the video below. Now another difference in Sandra's before and after pictures is her eyelashes. Look how glorious they look in the second picture. We can get that same movie star lash look in one of two ways. First, we can use a lash lengthener, and this is the one that I use. Absolutely love this. This is the Babe Lash Lash Lengthener, and within about two weeks, I could really tell that my lashes were filling in and getting much more thick. Absolutely love this. But if you don't want to go to that extent, you can always add some falsy false eyelashes. And I don't have these on right now, but these were a wonderful option if you want those really dramatic looking eyelashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in Teddy, and they really do give a very glamorous look. Now, one of the easiest things we can do to give ourselves that movie star glow is to use a little bit of contour and highlighter. And I'll be using this Flower Beauty Collection Sculpt and Highlight. Absolutely love this one. And I'm going to be applying this highlighter with this Real Technique Setting Brush. Absolutely love this. This is a wonderful little brush. You can use it to apply your under eye setting powder. Perfect size for that. And it's also great to add a little extra glow. So to get started, we'll go into this little highlighter here. Tap off the brush. And we're going to be giving ourselves a little bit of an ethereal glow. And we're just going to go above the cheekbones there. See that? Oh, what a beautiful little glow. And a little bit down on the cheekbones. Very, very pretty. Dip in there again. Do the other side. Just along the top there. Whoa. That is a glow. So that is how that looks. Now let's use it a little bit on the brow bone. Dip in there one more time. Let's just take that right here. I like this little brush, especially because it does have a little pointed end that you can use to do the fine detail work. That glow is absolutely beautiful. Then we'll take a little bit down the center of our nose. And I like this brush because it is nice and narrow to do that job. So we've got a little glow going there. We'll do a little bit on the Cupid's bow. It got in my lipstick there. A little bit on the chin. Whoa, that is a bright glow. Now we'll add a little bit above the brows, just right there. 
This is a little ethereal glow that the moon might give you in the evening. Another thing that the movie stars have is very sculpted cheekbones. So we're going to use the contour portion of this little palette to give us a little more sculpting there. And I'm going to be using the Sigma F05 brush, which is their small contour. We'll dip into that contour there. I really like this contour because it's very, very natural. Suck in your cheekbones and come just about halfway down is all. Very nice natural look there. Dip in again. That's just brought in those cheekbones a little bit. Now it always helps to go along the chin. Just to sculpt that chin, make it look like it's very finely defined. Then we'll go a little bit under here as if your perfect chin is casting the perfect shadow. And a little bit along the forehead just to narrow that forehead. Now next check for chocolate bars. No looks good. Okay those were just a few simple steps to give us that movie star glow and again if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see how this mono wig topper works just go ahead and click that little bell and subscribe because you'll be notified of that and my future videos. Well I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been using these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. I'll go ahead and choose one. We're winding the cards down because I've been taking out the duplicates. Ooh, I like this one. I choose peace. I choose peace. Life does not want you to suffer. You struggle because you let life love you only so much. Where there is drama in your life, let grace in. Ooh, that's worth repeating. Where there is drama in your life, let grace in. I absolutely love this card. I almost think there are two kinds of people. Those who, no matter what chaos is going on around them, have an inner core of peace that they carry with them. And those who let chaotic situations and people take them wherever the wind blows and they lose their peace. And in my first half, I really wasn't that much of a peaceful person. I think I always liked the drama. And when a situation was dramatic, I just got in there and tried to figure it out and just went along with that drama. But I realized in my second half that that cost me valuable peace and that peace is where I want to live. So friends, I hope you realize that life doesn't want you to suffer and that in any situation you can choose chaos or you can choose grace and peace. Take care. See you next time.